Thanks for joining us for this edition of Bell & Gossett Solves It. b and commitment to being HVAC systems experts is well known, as is our commitment to educating the industry through our Little Red Schoolhouse training classes. This video series is an extension of b and commitment to keeping our industry up to date on best practices and new insights. Today we are visiting the headquarters of the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers, otherwise known as ASHRAE. This facility went through a major renovation in 2008 that sought to provide a healthy environment for the ASHRAE staff as well as showcase ASHRAE technology. The headquarters required a very efficient cooling system to serve their needs. Our local rep, the James M. Pleasance Company, was brought in early to assist Johnson Spellman & Associates in the design of a geothermal pumping system to serve the second floor of the facility. James M. Pleasance is a large waterside rep in the heating and air conditioning and plumbing markets and we specialize in anything that moves or heats water. The ASHRAE headquarters made a decision to renovate their building as part of an expansion. The building's about 30,000 square feet, and they added about 4,000 square feet of conference rooms and training center. It entailed a study of eight different uh, competing mechanical systems. The renovation looked at innovative technologies trying to bring the energy consumption down in the building. So they looked at uh, some leading HVAC systems, geothermal being one of them. Johnson Spellman and Associates specializes in sustainable lead type of projects. The reason why we use geothermal was that it was a agreed to by the technical committee that this would be a good competing technology to showcase against variable refrigerant system that we have on the ground level. JMP has uh, a great deal of expertise regarding the system, geothermal system design. So we support the consulting engineer from the concept all the way through to the installation. Uh, we have equipment that fits well within the requirements for that type of system. JMP actually made the selections for the Bell & Gossett pump package behind us and the Climate Master heat pumps. Looking at this geothermal system, we substitute geothermal wells, which are actually out in the parking lot. One, it gives us an energy advantage because we're not running mechanical equipment. The great thing about the geothermal well is that you don't see anything. It's actually all below the, the driveway in the parking lot. And it, it comprises of 12 uh, boreholes, which are 400 feet deep, and they're on 25 foot centers. And the piping is all connected, manifolded together and there's three sets of pipes that come into the mechanical room. The pumps that were installed were two Series 80 Bell & Gossett inline pumps. There was very little room for mechanical equipment space, so these Series 80 pumps took up very limited room and were able to meet the criteria very well. What was here before was a um, air-cooled chiller that was outside and large uh, central mechanical rooms with a, with a central air handler and those rooms have now been given to the ASHRAE headquarters for them to actually use as usable space instead of a mechanical room. That mechanical room has been reduced to what you see behind me. The goal initially was to obtain LEED Gold status. After these leading technologies, they were able to get LEED Platinum status. The goal was to exceed ASHRAE 90.1-2004 energy efficiency standards by at least 30%, which the building has achieved. And actual data that is being captured every day uh, validates that the building, the energy savings are actually there. Thanks again for joining us for Bell & Gossett Solves It from the ASHRAE headquarters in Atlanta. Look for the next installment of BNG Solves It soon on this website. And as always, we look forward to seeing you at the Bell & Gossett Little Red Schoolhouse. <laughs>